Hi, welcome to this tutorial on finding the median, lower quartile, upper quartile and percentiles of a continuous random variable. Now what I've got here is a few typical probability density graphs just to illustrate a few of these examples. Now if we're asked to find the median for instance we often use the letter M or the second quartile Q2. Now the probability of being less than the median M or Q2 is always a half and you can illustrate this on a probability density function something like this. The area to the left of Q2 is going to be a half. Remember area under a curve in a probability density function f of x gives the probability. Now we learned earlier that f, capital F, is the cumulative distribution function. It gives us the probability of being less than or equal to a given value. So f of m would equal a half. f of m is the probability, as I say, of being less than a particular value, which is the area under the graph. And we can also represent this as being equal to the integral from the lower limit of the probability density function, which we often call minus infinity, up to Q2, or the m value. Let's use m. That's the area under the graph. If we integrate that with respect to x, is going to equal a half. And we can use this equation, or this one up here, to find out what m is. Now, in my next example, what I'm going to show you is you might be asked to find the lower quartile. And we call the lower quartile Q1. And the lower quartile is where you have a probability of a quarter of being less than Q1. So in other words, if we had the cumulative distribution function, capital F, F of Q1 would equal 1 quarter. And that means that, therefore, the integral from the lower limit of the PDF up to Q1, that is the area under the graph, fx dx, is going to equal a quarter. And it would be this equation that you would solve for Q1. Similarly, if you're asked to find the upper quartile, which we call Q3, Q3 is a value where the probability of being less than or equal to it is 3 quarters. So we'd be looking for f of Q3 equaling 3 quarters. Or you could say that the integral from the lower limit of the probability density function, minus infinity, to Q3 of f of x dx, well that's going to equal 3 quarters. And you'd solve that equation. Now when we talk about percentiles, we often call a percentile pn, the nth percentile that is. What do we mean by that? Well, pn is a general value, so suppose you were talking about the 60th percentile, p60, that would be 60 out of 100, 60% if you like, or 0.6 is the probability of being less than the 60th percentile. If it was the 20th percentile, then we'd be looking at P20, and that would be a 20% chance of being less than P20. So, if we're talking in general, we've got that F of Pn will equal n out of 100. So in other words, if we integrate from the lower limit of the probability density function up to Pn of f of x dx, then we should have a value of n over 100. Now that brings us to the end of this particular video. And in my next video, what I'd like to do is to show you some numerical examples of how we can go about finding these quartiles.